Hello everyone, this is Helena Santiago from the Mongoose Enablement Team. In this video, I'll be showing you two things. First is how to set up portal panels with a user control, and the second is how to set up an event from a form found inside a portal panel. To give you a little bit of an overview, this is the end goal of this exercise. The panel is found inside a portal just like this. In this example, we have four different panels inside this form. Also, in order to set up events inside the panels themselves, we'll be using JSON messaging through our Mongoose form event handlers. These are the forms that will be our panels inside the portal. For the next steps, I'll be showing you how we'll surface these panels inside our portal. Let us create a new form and set it up before we add our portal. Let's navigate to the web user control assets. This is where we can find the files needed for our portal user control our HTMS, CSS, and JS portal file. We'll draw the user control component onto our form. After doing so, we'll be selecting our portal.html script. After we connect our component to our portal script, we'll need to define the portal setup variable value. This variable value contains this JSON. In this JSON, we define the width, height, form name, and other possible values. So now, let us create our variable called portal setup. We'll be pasting this JSON inside this variable. After defining the forms we would like to show inside our portal, we will set up our full screen Mongoose app inside XI in order to have a preview of our work so far. To set this up, we'll need to go to admin settings and add an application. Before we enter the application details, Here's a preview of what the link should look like. You'll need to define your configuration name, the guest user, set the page to form only, define the form name, set it to no title, and enable force SSO to one. You can all that inside this link. So now we're going to define a non info application, give it a name, and also add in the link we just defined and set an icon. I'm also going to update the form name to the one that we're using for this video. We can now see our newly added panels demo form in the XI application switcher and preview our application. Now, for the next steps, we are going to set up portal form events. So how this works is that different form events are set in different layers, with the portal sitting in its own iframe. That's why we need to set up JSON messaging both in a panel form and container form as shown in this diagram. First, we're going to set up the web container message on one of the panels found inside a portal. Name the event on the tile button with the same event handler name you'll be placing on the form. As you can see, no event handlers were set up on the tile, only the event name is listed on the button. Now going back to our form, we'll set up the web container message with the event name we just put on the tile, which is go to request form. Our event name will be send web container message, and our message type will be process dashboard message. In the message context, we'll have a JSON indicating the form event that will be triggered in the container form and set the request ID variable that will be used as a filter in a separate event later on. As the web container message is set, we'll now go ahead and set the JSON message received events and the event listeners on the container form. First, we'll add the process dashboard message form script onto our form. Don't forget to name the form name on your script with the name of the form you created and add the Newtonsoft JSON reference on the top of the form script. What this process dashboard message does specifically is that it reads the message content, which is the standard web page message data variable. We'll add the process dashboard message form script event handler onto the container form events. After this, we are going to set up a Mongoose standard event. Which is standard web container received. 
with a conditional action depending on the value of the variable. So, if our web container context value is processed dashboard message, this will trigger the specified event in the conditional action. Since the event that is to be triggered based on our JSON message is called go to request form, we'll be adding a go to request form event handler on the container form. We'll define it as a run form event, specifying our form name and adding in the variables we declared inside our JSON message. So we're filtering this based on our request ID variable. So these are the key events that we'll need in order to launch our form. But we'll need to add a timer that would run as the form is loaded. We'll also add a timer tick event that contains a stop timer event. And a register message handler JSON's context to generate the panel event triggered. We'll also need to add a refresh event handler with the generate event type with a manually typed value called portal refresh. This is a function found inside portal.js that refreshes the portal area. We'll also add an attire event to aid in the JSON listening events. So these are all the events needed for the JSON messaging to work. As we preview our current Mongoose app, we'll see the panels we set up earlier, and as we click into one of the tiles in our form, we then see a new form filtered by the record's request ID. And this is how you set up panels inside a portal with corresponding events with JSON messaging. For more tutorial videos like this, visit the Mongoose portal at mongoose.info.com.